Hi everyone, it's Chenji Internship with another Take It Yourself tutorial. In this episode, we'll be doing a simple tutorial on how to perform push and pull requests using Git Bash for GitHub. Stick with us, we're going to make this so much fun. First off, a brief description of what Git and Git Bash is. Git is an open source collaboration software that helps manage off-code projects and abate collaboration between users. Why Git Bash, in its simplest term, is a test-only command interface which we can use to interact between GitHub version of our code and the local copy. Take note, GitHub can be installed on Windows, Mac, or Linux systems. Now we are done with the boring stuff. Let's get started. Now, if you haven't already installed um, Git Bash on your system, you can go to git scmcom slash downloads, and there you see the GitHub file. Then you can download it and follow the prompts. I'm not going to teach you how to um, install GitHub on your desktop. Uh, my colleague has already created a video. The link is going to be down for you to watch. We're going to go straight to pushing our file. So straight, this is my repository. We're going to create a new repository. All right, so let's call this to, to real. And then you can decide to make it public and decide to make it private. Oh, my network is down. So I'm waiting for the something to load. Okay, yes, done. So you can start to make it public, you can start to make it private. Private for yourself, public for anyone can see. Now I've made my public and I'm going to create the repository. So yes, this is the new repository tutorial um so um what we want to do is create a git push to this particular repository so what is a uh, git push git push is used to publish a file from our computer to our github repository for example if we are working on a project with a team and uh, we need to make changes to our previously uploaded script um, after making these changes a git push is needed to update the script in this central repository so to do that straight um create a copy here by clicking this then we go to our desktop and do a git bash now we can do it in any folder you can go here and create a git bash here you can do it in any directory in your system but i'm going to um, do it on my desktop so a git bash just click on git bash and voila we have it here so to copy or clone our repository to our desktop all we need to do is uh, Sorry, I'm going to delete this. I don't know where this came from. This must be an old file. Okay, so um, we're going to do a git clone. I want to have noticed about git probably. You can't actually press Ctrl V and um, you expect it's something. It won't paste. So you need to write a uh, right click and uh, click on paste for the file to actually paste. Then you click on enter. So it's cloning. Now, see the warning he gave us. Say so you appear to have cloned an empty repository. Don't forget that our repository is empty on our uh, online. So we have no content into it. If you open it, there's no content, nothing in it. So I'm going to close this command prompt and go into the repository, which is this folder that we've created. It's the same thing as one we have online, um, but it's, this is uh, PC based. So we're going to create a new file um okay so let's do a, a, a tst file notes and i'm going to put hng is the best internship in the world right i love hng internship so and put anything you want it can be a html file it can put be a js file it can be any file but well, i choose to do a tst file so i'm going to save it um okay i want to save it to the desktop this is the tutorial folder and i'm going to call it hng tutorial save it voila it is saved so all we need to do, the next thing we need to do is um, git bash here. Now after I git bash here, 
we do a git add. I'm going to make a mistake. I'm going to make a mistake on purpose. Um, purpose. So I'm going to do this and click on enter. See, it's giving, it's, it's giving us an error command or uh, it doesn't recon recognize that command. Now, what happened is that we need to be careful when we are giving command in Git Bash because it might not recognize. So anything we are putting there, it has to be the, the correct one. So I'm going to correct this and do a git add and dot and see, it works fine, very, very fine. So the next thing we are going to do is the git commit. Git. Um, git commit from M. Then we can put any comment we decide. Um, it could be anything just telling us about the file we choose to add on our repository or the changes. Um, so I'm going to put new file. And what this git commit does is that it compares the new folder we have on our desktop or on our system to the repository online. So it checks for any changes and once there's any changes, it commits that changes to our repository or prepares the changes to be added to or pushed to our repository. So by clicking click git commit enter, see it shows us one file changed, one session, which is this hey changes tutorial we just added. Now to push, we could push to our original master, which is the original repository we created by doing a git push iPhone U origin master. That is directly, but I want to create a branch. I want to teach you how to create a branch. So we can create a branch by doing a git checkout. And the name of the branch, it could be anything. So I'm going to call mine HNG and then this. So you see, it's wrote switch to a new branch HNG. That is a new branch I've created in our repository. Now it's to push, which is as easy as doing this git push origin and the name of the branch, which is HNG. And we'll have our file push to our repository. So we're going to hold on for it to do that. Now, if you are doing this for the first time, uh, you might it might ask you for a username or password. So you need to put in your um, GitHub um, username and your password. But since I have been using this for a long time. So it doesn't bother me. It's going to ask you to do that only once. Now, as you can see, everything has been pushed to our um, branch, our new branch, which is everything we are seeing here. So all we need to do is just go online. Okay. Then we reload. And there, the magic happens. Voila. So we have our TSC file in our branch. We simply pushed our file. This is it. HNG is best. Isn't that easy? easy peasy so this is all um it's quite simple um thanks for watching and learning if you appreciate this video don't forget to like and share to all the geeks around the world geeks like me and you and if you want to contribute our comment section is open we love to hear from you thank you from hng thank you and we love you